As for basketball, it's fair to say that the jury was out on Springfield basketball this season. But with last week's win over Perrysburg, all of a sudden, the Blue Devils were thrust fully into NLL contention. Tonight, they were facing another solid team in the league in Maumee, and this was a good one. Chester McFadden checks out his options, but doing it himself is the best one for this. Go ahead to the third quarter now. Leroy Alexander. Strong on the offensive glass and also with the putback, Devils up by 13 points, but it got interesting late. Sean Flanagan, love the goggles on Akeem Olajuwon's birthday. Nice pass inside, Dominique King. It's a four-point ball game. And King, later on, rallying for Maumee, makes it a two-point game. It was a three-point game in the final seconds, but a last-second chance was no good. And so, Springfield hangs on for the 56-53 win. More. NLL, Perrysburg and Rossford. Jackets looking good in the first quarter. Kevin Shank, pump fake on the outside, drives it in, floater in the lane. That goes 14-4, Perrysburg. Rossford would call a timeout, but after that, the Jackets still looked good. Matt Schimoller, after about a million spin moves, Perrysburg still up double digits. They'd increase that lead. Devin Dunbar and football, there's yak, as in yards after contact. In hoops, how a pack, points after contact. Three-point play, Perrysburg wins 66 41. City League now. Good matchup between Rogers and Whitmer. Good haircuts too. Love the style. Love this player too. Damon Powell. Shots good. Cuts the Panther lead to five, but Whitmer will start pulling away. Nigel Hayes, who else? Fouled on the drive. Scores two. Whitmer up 33-23. They pour it on late third quarter. The hero from last Friday, Mike Zemanski. He scores to make it 56-38. Rogers made a late run to cut it to six, but it was too little too late. Whitmer wins 74-67. Two, I thought they, they played a little harder in the fourth quarter than they did in the first three. When they get a sense of urgency, they're unbelievable. And I think they developed that sense of urgency at the start of the fourth. And, uh, you know, I knew that last eight minutes was going to seem like an hour, which it did. Everybody expect us, you know, we still the, the little sisters of the city league. You know, we still playing young kids, and but we're going to get better. Over at St. Francis, Knights hosting Bowser. Rebels working it down low to Robert Davis in between two defenders for two. Kind of a theme there. Gets the hoop. Now for St. Francis, hustling is always a good thing. Dan Yodes this. Yod this. One-hander off the offensive glass. With just too much Bowser, the extra pass finds Milan Mabry. Bowser wins it 75-50. to 50. Moving on to St. John's. Plenty of Titan highlights against Scott. They have good players like Mark Loving, future Buckeye, looking good. Another good player, Cheatham Norris, future Toledo Rocket for football. Another slam dunk from Zach Steinmetz, future BG Falcon in football. St. John's wins. Final score, 80 to 52. More City League. Woodward and start. First quarter, it's 10 to 8 start. Chris Lawson works it in the paint. The spin move, he gets it to go. Spartans. Back on defense, they come back with the steal. Lawson to Mo Taylor, he led the Spartans in scoring. And they go on to win, 69-64. And Dave Krause made his name coaching Patrick Henry basketball. He's now retired in the, in the Ohio High School Coaches Hall of Fame. His brother Doug has coached Archbold into a perennial basketball power. So it's kind of a sibling rivalry outside the fact that this game's for first in the NWOAL. Tyson Dietrich turns around inside, streaks up 28-18. They did it from the outside, too. To the quarterback, Garrett Morton from the football team. Nothing but net. We're giving you some variety in these highlights. How about a full court pass to Morton again, ahead of the pack for two. And no matter what Patrick Henry tried to do, no matter how many timeouts, Archbold was there. In this case, Luke Kamire with the block. Doug Krause, the winner in this one with his team. Archbold stays perfect with the 51-37 win. SLL now, Genoa and Lake. This was supposed to be a blackout. I see a lot of neon, though. Rashad Smith for Lake, and Josh Tentari hits it from the outside, makes it 5-1 to one early a few minutes later. Off the inbounds pass, Kurt McGee. McGee for three. Kind of sounds like a campaign slogan. 16-9 Lake, looking good, but late in the first, Luke Sutter passes out of the double team to Cole Wells. She knocks down the open. Trey cuts it to a two-point game, but Lake pulls away for an 83-64 win. The Browns named Dick Duran, their defensive coordinator, and the Walleye beat Elmira 4-3. That's your Hardcore Sports. We'll be right back.